What's up guys? Welcome back. So this right here is the Sandy Land, and as you may remember in the last video of this thing, we finally managed to get it to be able to run this 3S lifeboat, which was pretty ridiculous. Unfortunately though, it was a little bit too ridiculous, and also completely uncontrollable, so we only managed to drive it for about a minute before it lifted off and then broke. So in today's video, I have this new receiver here, which has a gyro in it, and that should hopefully fix the problem. So we're going to stick this thing in real quick, and then we're going to take this thing out and give it its first real test with the 3S LiPo. Enjoy! So this new radio here is the Dumbo RC X6FG radio, which goes with this radio right here. So not only does this radio have a gyro, but it also has a much longer range. It's something ridiculous, like 400 yards. Now the unfortunate drawback to that is that in order for the radio to work at that distance, you need an extremely long antenna. Like, just have a look at how long that is. The thing's massive. Wait, look at this. It's longer than the entire Sandy Land. <laughs> so getting this receiver in is definitely going to be really difficult because we're going to have to thread the antenna throughout the entire car pretty much. But this new radio is definitely going to be a lot better. So let's get it on. Maybe? Yeah, all right. All right, so we've got our old receiver off, we've got the car all reassembled, and so now we're ready to stick our new receiver on. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this is gonna be pretty difficult because the antenna is the same length as the car, so we're gonna really have to thread it around the entire car to get it to fit. So what I'm thinking I'll do is I'll stick it in the same spot that the other receiver was, like this. So you can see that antenna threads around down here and comes up. So then what I'll do is I'll just probably stick it down like right there. Alright, so we've got our new receiver in, and it does not look great. You can see, like, the antenna is wrapped around the entire inside of the car, but it's definitely gonna work. So now I'll hook everything up and give it a test. Oh, I'm not touching anything. Okay. Alright, so I've just done a little bit of looking around to try and fix it, and I found this. So you can see on this radio, the stick is by default a little bit more forwards than backwards. I think it's like 70-30 or something instead of 50-50. But so what that means is we're going to have to reset the endpoints on this thing so that it doesn't just go backwards as soon as we turn it on. Also, as you can see, this radio has a gyro, so when you wiggle it, you can see the front wheels move with it to keep on facing forwards. So now that we've got our new radio in, we're ready to take this thing out and see how big of a difference the gyro makes. Oh, jeez. Oh. That's the end of that battery tray.
So there it is, a gyro for the Sandy Land. And guys, I cannot believe how big of a difference this makes. The Sandy Land is just so much more controllable. We can actually get it to go in a straight line. And I know that doesn't really sound like a very big achievement, but with the Sandy Land, that is huge. The other great thing about this is how much faster we can go. Obviously the top speed is still the same, but the difference is before it would just peel out as soon as we hit top speed. But now we can actually go at top speed for some time. And speaking of top speed, this thing is just ridiculous. Something this small should not go that fast. I actually legitimately think that it might almost stand a chance in a race against the Rustler 4x4 now. So for sure, if you're going faster with your Sandy Land, then a Gyro is a must-have upgrade. So now that we've seen how fast this thing can do speedruns, I want to try and get the full potential out of that. So I'm thinking that I might try and convert it into a race car, like put on some street tires and lower the suspension and all that stuff. Once I've done that, I want to see how fast we can get it to go, and of course, I want to race it against the Rustler. So stay tuned for that, subscribe so you don't miss it, and I will see you all then.